Welcome back to the channel. Welcome to another WordPress tutorial. In this video, we're going to build an email template. We've all seen the email temp the emails that come from WordPress that are just a very basic text-based email that says like whenever you change a user's password or something you know it'll it'll say user blah 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 password has been changed or um a new email has been or a new user has been created and it's just very basic a uh, text-based email well, in this video i'm going to show you guys how to build an email template that will go out every time wordpress sends an email so whether it's a form submission whether it's uh, a new user's been created, a password's been changed, you know, reset your password, any of those emails, it will go out as a template that looks really nice. You can even add your logo and, you know, company information, company links and stuff like that, so that every email that goes out has that information on it, all right? So let's get started, and I'll show you guys how to build that uh, plugin, a standalone plugin that does that, and you can add it to any of your customer sites, go in and adjust the template if you want, and and uh and that way you have that email that goes out all right so here on our code we're going to create a new file and we're going to save that file in our plugins directory and we're going to call it a new folder and we're going to say idea pro email template is what we're going to call it template and we're going to create that folder and then we're going to create the file idea pro email template the same exact name dot php okay so now that automatically with my the way i have my system set up it automatically uploads it to the server so we're going to open up some php tags here and we're going to make a comment whoops a comment here at the top and we're going to call this plugin name and it's going to be um, just just idea pro email template and then we're going to say description replaces standard standard wordpress emails okay and that's all that we need for our uh, information here at the top so that wordpress picks up our plugin you can add more up there in the uh, details, the author and version number and all that stuff. Um, I've made other videos that show that. I'm not gonna do that in this video. I wanna keep it as short as possible. So if we save that, upload it to the website, we come over to our plugin section. We now have Idea Pro email template and the description here says replaces standard WordPress emails. So we're gonna activate that plugin, all right? So now we have our plugin activated. We're gonna start writing some functions that work with the, um, to, to work with this plugin that will cause the HTML email and the, the style of it, all right? So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna write a function and we're just gonna call this idea pro content filter, all right? And we don't need any arguments in our um, parentheses here. And then in here, we're going to say return two quotes text slash HTML. Now, what this is going to do in a little while is we're going to call this function and it's going to change the text based emails to an HTML email. All right. Most uh, email platforms now accept HTML as emails so sending a text-based email is not as um, important as it used to be it used to be if you send an html email it may show all the html code to someone that had a text only based email but those platforms really have gone away so the next function that we're going to write is we're going to write the uh, filter that captures every time an email goes out all right, so we're going to write a new function, idea pro email filter is what we'll call it. Okay, so now in the parentheses here, we're going to do args, args. So 
uh, dollar sign ARGS. And what that's going to do is it's going to pull in the uh, arguments for the email that's being sent out. So underneath this, we're going to add a filter. And what we're going to filter is the WP mail. And then the next thing here is going to be our callback function, which is the name of our function. And then we're going to put a 10, whoops, a 10 after that. And that is the priority that this function, this filter runs. So default is 10. And if we have an issue with something not getting filtered properly when we do our testing, we can in increase that number or decrease that number to make adjustments to see if it's something else needs to run before it or after it. But 10 should be a pretty good number to go with, all right? And then we're gonna put one here for the number of arguments that we're pulling. This is also the default one, and we don't need to pull any other arguments, so we're just gonna leave it as one. All right, we're gonna come back to this function here in just a minute. So the next function that we're gonna write is function idea pro email details. That's what we're gonna call it. All right. So in this function, I'm actually going to copy and paste in um, some uh, an HTML email that I've written so that we can, um, so that I don't have to take the time to go through the video here and create this each, each individual line. There's a lot to it and you can make adjustments to that. Okay, so I'm going to copy some code here and I'm going to paste it in here and I'll explain this code, but it keeps me from having to write it in. So idea pro email details, this is the template and we're going to call this in a little while when we get ready to filter out our email. So here at the top, we have info equals, and then we have doc type HTML public. You know, this is the standard uh, HTML5 um, code. And up here we have, you know, the equivalent, blah, 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 the title. We could put a title in there if we wanted to. It's not necessary. Um, and then here in the body is this, a styling that we've done, background color, and this is just a background color that we've used. Um, and then table. So emails are still kind of old school when it comes to the structure of the email. So we're going to use a table. The style sheets, a lot of email platforms like Gmail, if you tried to push a style sheet for the um, email, Google takes out that style sheet and then kind of formats it however it wants. But if we put inline styles like this where the padding and stuff, we can actually tell it this is what we want it to look like. So here in this section here, so here we've started a table and we've given it a, a background color and a width of 775, max width is 90%. Um, minimum width, we could do a minimum width um, and, and that would be for like mobile devices and stuff like that. Um, so here, in this top part is where we actually could put in a logo if we wanted to. So we're just going to put right here, we're just going to put um, Idea Pro LLC, which is our company name. So that could, you could change the size of that font. You could put a logo in there if you wanted to, which is what we typically do. And then here we have another row for the table. And if you look, we have, you know, different color for the text and a different color for the background, which is white. Uh, the text is 656565, which is just a darker text. And then here we have square brackets and message. Now, this is where the actual message is going to go. So we're going to replace this in this filter up here with the actual message that's being sent out. Okay. And so then we come down here and this is kind of the bottom of the email. We've got copyright, your company name, all rights reserved. So right here, we're going to put in idea pro LLC. And then as we come down here, we've got a little bit of information. This section here, I kind of left it for um, social media links. So if you want to add in, you know, social media links. So if you want to put in your social media links there, you can do that. 
Um, if you don't know what the info thing here is, this is a variable for, for PHP and it's a, a string variable. And then here with the info dot equals, we're con 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 we're adding to that string. We're adding to that string all the stuff after that. So putting the info dot, it grabs all the stuff above it and continues to add that information to that string. So now down here, we're gonna say return dollar sign info, just like that, okay? And again, I'm gonna put this file in the uh, description below so that you can copy this information over into your own plugin. I recommend writing your own uh, plugin and your functions and all that stuff because it just makes you more familiarized with the um, with how each piece uh, works and, and it makes you remember WP mail and all the different functions and stuff like that but you can copy the HTML in there and then adjust it to how you want okay all right so we're gonna save that so before we actually do a filter I want to go in and send an actual email all right so we're going to go to our theme and we're going to pull in the footer.php here and this is just a um an example that i want to that i want to do all right so i've got some other stuff in there we're going to create a php tag here and we're just going to call wp mail the first argument is going to be where it's going to. So we're going to say josh at ideapro.com. The next one is going to be the subject. And we're just going to say test, testing, email, filter. And the next one's actually going to be the body of the email, the message. So we're going to say standard, standard, standard. I don't know why I can't spell that. Standard email body message welcome right so that's going to be our email now if we go to the front of the website and we actually refresh this page boom so now I'm actually going to get an email you go over and see here it is let me pull this pull this up really quick all right so this is the standard how the standard email looks in WordPress it's you know got your subject testing email filter and then it just says standard email body message right so this is how plain the wordpress emails go out and if it says you know your wordpress has been updated to blah 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 or if there's an error on your website and you get an email it's very basic text-based email so that's what our filter is going to do is it's going to change how this looks okay so up here in our uh, back on our function in our filter here these arguments come through and for in each argument is each piece of the WP mail. So you got your to field, your subject and your message, and it even has one for arrays. So we're not going to touch. It's got one for your headers too, but we're not going to touch the headers and we're not going to touch the um, attachments is what I meant to say a minute ago. It's um, we're not going to touch the headers and the attachments in these args. We've got args whoops two and what that's equal to but we're going to comment it out because we don't want to change that we don't want to change that at all now you could add a cc field like if you wanted to and that's in the headers of that email you could add a cc field if you wanted to be cc'd to a certain email address every time an email goes out from the website um, that's we've we've done that before. The, what we're going to be looking for is args message, and what it's actually equal to. And then down here, we're going to return the args, right? Okay. So if we did this, if we said args message is equal to blank, and we left that alone, and we ran the email, the actual email would be blank because it's going to um, just these two dots here are going to change it to a blank message and it's going to remove the actual message that's being written. So what we want to do is now we want to bring in this template that we've written here and we want to replace message here. So the way we're going to do that 
is we're going to call this function. So right up here, we're going to say template is equal to, and then we're going to call that function. Okay. So now what it's going to do is template is now going to equal all of this information here. All right. And so now we need to pull in the message. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to say dollar sign template is equal to str replace and that's a string replace so you can replace a character um, or a string in some text and it will replace it with whatever you want to re replace it with okay so what we're going to be looking for to replace is we want to replace these square brackets and message so we're going to copy that that's the first thing that we're going to put in here now we need a comma and then what we're going to actually replace it with. So we'll put that in there. And then this last um, argument here is what we're, what we're replacing as far as the, the string, which is going to be our template. So we're going to replace that. Now we're going to comment out the args here because we don't want to return that. All right. Actually, what we want to do is we want to say this here is args message. Okay. So now we're saying the args message that comes in here, we're going to change it to st replace message with the message that's coming in and template. So now our args message here is now going to include all of this but it's going to replace the square brackets message with the message that's coming in okay so now that we have that done the next thing that we need to do is make sure that we format the text-based email into an html email and we wrote this little function up here at the top idea pro content filter return text email text slash html and so we need to call that to tell it, to tell the email system that, hey, this is an HTML email and not just a plain email, All right? So right down here, before I return the args, we're gonna add a filter, okay? And what we're gonna filter is the WP mail content type, all right? And then we're gonna call this function here as the callback. We're going to save it. And so now what that's going to do is when it sends an email, when it gets ready to send an email, it's going to add this filter to an, as an HTML email and then continue on. All right. So now if we go back to our page here and we refresh because still in the footer, we have this WP mail being uh, called here. So come back here and we've refreshed and now we have a new email. And now this email now looks like this. So now it says idea pro LLC standard email body message. If you remember the previous email that we had looked like this. So now we have standard email body message welcome. And then we now we have idea pro standard email body message welcome. And down here we have at or copyright 2020 idea pro LLC all rights reserved and then we have this area here that is our social media links as the HTML that um, we entered into that function so that's how you create a uh, HTML template for all the emails that go out um, you can adjust that template to what you need to like I said in the top right here if you want to add the logo you can upload that into the media library then grab the full URL the HTTP blah, 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 the full URL of the JPEG. I always recommend a JPEG because they're smaller files. Uh, you could do a PNG that is the, um, has a transparent background. Make sure it's a small file. In an email, I wouldn't send a, a file that is uh, wider than probably 300, maybe 400 pixels at the most, um, because anything bigger than that is going to be a draw, drag on the uh, downloading of the email. So. That's how you create an HTML email. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like the video if you did, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks.